all right, this is going to be rough, but we're going to get it done. Uh, I'm here with robot ratings. It's been been a bit because I was on the plane to China and then I had to travel to my hometown and also uh, my VPN and everything did not work. I had NordVPN and it did not work in China. So um, yeah, don't use it. <laughs> and anyway, so I'm just recording on the data now and hopefully um, I don't get charged like 45,000 or something. Um, we're going to get started though. So Victor not done yet uh okay oh, it's, it's currently 1 a.m here but i mean in the u.s it should be like 1 p.m so when you guys see this video it should be pretty soon i don't know um all right we got the pretty standard pretty standard robot here six photo drive 450 on uh i think that's i think that's um 2.75s and so pretty 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 good art ratio I see that I think you have a gonna have a hoarding basket maybe here, and you definitely have a a match load mech. Um, no, I, I, I like it. I like it. I'm gonna give this one a I'm gonna give this one a, a B tier to be honest. I feel like I feel like it could be done clean more cleanly. I mean, I, you're never gonna cut your uh, one by ones later, but yeah, meta. That's a, it's a high, high stake spot. I don't know if I give it that meta. Not a real mount. This is also this drivetrain is being used to learn about PID, not actual drivetrain. So I guess like a yeah, learning kind of drivetrain. Okay, interesting. Alright, I don't know why he wants us to rate that then. Uh I'm gonna give this one a I'm gonna give this one a C tier then. To be honest, at this point I've given up the robot taking too long to CAD because I'm dumb. Don't only think it has a competitive chance. Let's take a look. I thought this robot had a really nice intake because, um, right, this one's built so that you can take the, the blocks straight out of the tubes, match load tubes, without a match load mag. However, one thing that I kind of did think about uh, later on is that um, it's not going to be as easy as you think because the band pulling together is going to cause immense friction on that, on that screw joint. So, but anyways... I think it's going to kind of come up and go across here. Uh, if it's coming up, I don't understand why you need the the bottom rollers here, right? Because you it makes everything so much harder to have bottom rollers. You might as well just like have it all go on the top and then just run a kind of like a, a snail or uh, something poly ramp on the back. But I'm going to give this one a, a B tier, you know? I think it's still possible that you guys make make a good design. You just gotta gotta stay in, stay stay locked in. All right, you got another another change up style intake. I'm currently on the video. It's gonna be hard to load, but that's okay. We're gonna get through it. Okay. All right. Mm, pretty standard robot. I think this is a. Yeah, uh, the one thing I don't want is that your drive trains not connected at all. Um, but I mean, I guess it's a prototype. I'm gonna give it a C tier. There's a lot of stuff you need to fix. I'm no longer in high school, but this is six, seven, one, oh, one G's. Nope. What is that? Oh, so like a, like a, like a color flip, kind of. But you could use it as a color flip. That's cool. I'm gonna give it a B tier. Uh, yeah. CAD in two weeks. It's a whole count. It's all good. Well, I wonder what, what what is this for? Is a huge, like, I don't know for a climb. I don't know, like a partner. Not a climb. Sorry, a partner park. You like grab grab onto your partner. I don't know. This is very, very freaky. Very freaky design here. Looks like a wing. You look like a like a, but, a butterfly or something. Um. And but yeah, this is a pretty clean CAD though. Very nice. I think that's 360 on 3.25. And uh wow, I'm surprised you catted all the bro bands. That must be hard, but yeah. I noticed your train is going through this motor though, so that's that's not good, but I'm sure Oh wait, I was going through both of these motors. You might want to move this motor. I don't know if you have space to move it. 
but or maybe you want to like tension it up here like with something but yeah this looks nice i'm gonna give this one an a tier didn't add lotion shafts or motors for second stage yet but suggestions are welcome okay second stage what do you mean second stage like the top one i don't know what he means stages like this whole thing is second stage let's see motors i'm guessing the whole thing is second stage this one here but yeah mm, it looks like it looks like it can come out through two locations here the very the top here or here so i mean pretty another very standard front to back uh shoot i mean it'd be nice if you can hold more but like then you need to you need to use either the bottom space here or the top space and you need to build like a, like a carrying basket or something I don't know, maybe that's something to look into. Uh, also, you need to build this pretty light, and also make sure to put your like motors and your battery and your brain like here and down here, so you really lower that center of gravity, because it looks like it's pretty high right now. I'm gonna give this one a B tier. Um, one, three IQ SIGs in one year, and it took me 20 minutes to put a lock on thingy on oh oh man literally he's cooked he's <laughs> he's so cooked just entering the the v5 thunderdo he's cooked progress on first design mag drive just for fun 360 rpm and take a similar to uh, 393c and string theory okay so kind of like a a change up intake where it kind of goes where it has the hood that's that's pivotable i'm guessing yeah, I mean, every year everyone's like, oh, Mechanum wheel is going to, or Mechanum drive or X drive is going to be good this year, every single year, but it's never the case. It's probably the same with this year, even though you seem like you need to, uh, moving sideways is pretty good because, because you need to hold those, those tubes if you want to score. But honestly, I'm not too sure. I don't think Mechanum wheel is going to be that good. I'm going to give this one a C tier. All right, we got, we got Roblox. Okay, okay, bro. Who, who had their time? Who, in the right mind, had the time? Took the time out of their day, to, to make uh, pushback in Roblox, and in a playable game. That that's just crazy. That that that's insane. I just don't understand. This one's getting an F tier. No, I'm just kidding. This one's getting S tier. Coach Polly Cop Final for drivetrain. I saw some people yeah making these ones where it kind of bends around. That's really cool. I like this one, the S tier. Um, refines the day two CAD with more bracing. Duh. Yeah, more bracing. I see, I see more bracing. I think there's so many sprockets on here. I don't even know what's going on. Goes through here. And honestly, I would advise against the the screw joint stuff now because I'm, well, I've realized there's going to be so much friction. I mean, unless there isn't. Like, I would I would definitely I would definitely put it up to, to your, own, your own testing, right? You can either use bands or you can use mesh. If you just use mesh and just wrap the mesh around here, it's not going to have any friction. It's going to be fine. But I feel like if you use bands, it's going to have friction. Um, I'm going to give this one a B tier. And that's all we have for today.